Navantia, a leading Spanish company in the naval military shipbuilding sector, presents its new and revolutionary combat supply ship, the Cantabria. Completely designed and built by Navantia in its shipyards in the Bay of Cadiz, the Cantabria is much more than a logistical support ship. Navantia has thought ahead of market needs with a ship whose characteristics make it unique in the world. Just for its enormous fuel storage capacity, the Cantabria could be considered as a supply tanker, but it is really much more. Navantia has also provided the ship with a huge load and hospital capacity, as well as an important role in the fight against marine pollution. The combat supply ship is an engineering wonder. With a length of 176 meters, it is the second largest ship in the Spanish Navy. Navantia has created a revolutionary design that integrates both military and civilian concepts. In the fuel storage area, the ship has a double hull, thereby fulfilling the requirement which will be obligatory for all ships, both civilian and military, as of 2016. The Cantabria is therefore the first military ship of the Spanish Navy which fulfills environmental regulations for merchant shipping. Despite its huge size, this ship has excellent maneuverability thanks to the installation of a bow thruster. The combat supply ship includes all state-of-the-art technology it is totally automated thanks to the integrated platform control system designed by Navantia, which covers all control, combat and communication systems to ensure interoperability with allied forces, thereby notably reducing crew requirements. Another of the innovations in this ship is SCOMBA, a new generation of combat systems created by Navantia. There is also the demagnetization and NCB protection system. Equipped with great versatility, the combat supply ship is able to adapt to any mission that it is given. If there is one thing that makes the Cantabria unique and necessary for the Navy of any country, it is its at-sea supply system. The Cantabria performs replenishment operations of solids and liquids by day and at night to ships, submarines and aeroplanes. There are five supply stations and the ship is able to simultaneously replenish three ships while underway. The Cantabria also has the capability to perform vertical supply operations with helicopters. The combat supply ship has a massive carrying capacity. There are 900 square meters for solid loads and space for 20 containers on deck. For liquids, the storage capacity is around 900 cubic meters of fuel for ships, 1,500 cubic meters for aviation and 160 cubic meters of drinking water. The access and handling of the load is made easier through the use of three lifts as well as service lifts, cranes and other lifting and moving systems. This ship also has a major operative capacity thanks to its flight deck which can handle a heavy helicopter and the size of its hangar with space enough for three medium helicopters or two heavy ones, together with maintenance and repair facilities as well as two ribs. The Cantabria has a complete hospital which includes telemedicine by video conference. Its healthcare and carrying capability give this ship a major role in humanitarian operations. The Cantabria is designed to cause the least possible environmental impact and fulfills all requirements concerning the treatment of solid and liquid waste. Furthermore, the ship performs a key function in the fight against marine pollution. It is able to store 2,000 cubic meters of spills 
and transport and deploy dispersants and barriers. The current international climate means that it is increasingly necessary for the navies of many countries to have the capacity to use their naval power in distant places, quickly intervene in the event of humanitarian catastrophes and the battle to protect the environment. All these functions can now be performed by a single ship, the Cantabria. With the combat supply ship, logistical self-efficiency is a reality. The Cantabria exceeds all spatial and temporal limits, allowing any navy in the world to deploy its forces as far away and for as long as necessary, guaranteeing maintenance systems according to conditions during the entire life cycle of the ship. Once more, Navantia answers market demands by creating an international reference ship and placing itself in the forefront of military naval construction. <laughs>